What's up YouTube, NCG here, bringing you a updated World Chalice deck profile. Now, World Chalice is, um, like I said in the previous um, profile, they're the new It Link deck. This is the, the deck that's kind of solely focused around Link Summoning. We had it with XYZs, we had it with Synchro, where there's a deck that specifically just pumps that type of monster out. Um, now, the issue with um, World Chalice is, is, is they don't have a recover. They really do struggle because they pump through their resources so much um, that pretty much after turn one, it's a come at me, break my board. If you can't break my board, I'm going to win kind of play, um, which is why they haven't been able to become fully meta under Dracos and Zeus because they have enough clearance to kind of deal with the boards. However, um, in this build, I've put in a couple of little texts or little t uh, touches to try and help recycle the graveyard and try and make the deck a bit more consistent and playable. Um... Now you can play other stuff like Jar, um, I think it's Jar of Avarice, if I believe that's right, so it's Shuffle 5, Draw 1. Um, so that is an option as well for you budget players out there. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to crack straight into it and go from there. So, we start the deck profile off with probably the most expensive card in the main deck, and that is Triple Lee the World Chalice Fairy. Now it's not hugely expensive, it's just because it's one of the ultras in the deck and you need to play three of it, they're about £10 each, give or take. Um, I've already went through their effects in the previous uh, deck profile, so I'm not going to go through it word by word, but I'll kind of summarise what these do. Lee is your search of the Stratos of the deck. When it hits the board of his normal special damage, you add a World Chalice monster from your deck to your hand, uh, and then if it's in the graveyard, you can pitch a monster from your hand to the graveyard and add this back, but you can only do that once per turn. Next, we play Triple World Chalice Guard Dragon. Now, you can play this at two if you want. Um, three, it, it borderlines clocky in the sense that but because he's a hand trap as well, uh, you kind of get away with it. So Guard Dragon is, um, when a card or effect is activated that targets your linked monster, uh, you can send this card from the hand to the graveyard, uh, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. You also have the ability to banish this card from the graveyard, then target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position to a zone a linked monster points to. And again, you can only use each effect once per turn. Next up is Triple World Legacy World Chalice. Now this is probably one of your in most important combo plays. Um, I did do a two card combo on this uh, on the deck, so check that out if you haven't seen that before. I will try and put the link in the description below. Uh, but this is your level five. You get an additional normal summon, so you tribute this um, this one out, and then when this leaves the field, it special summons two World Chalice monsters from your deck. Um, again, which is massively important, uh, but it must be tribute summoned to gain that effect when it leaves the board. Uh, and then, uh, during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and uh, then add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. So because we only have two World Legacy cards at the moment, uh, itself and the trap card, which we don't play, uh, it will just basically search itself out. Um, you also have its, its standing ability, if you choose to special summon this, is it's kind of like a Thunder King Royal. Um, in the fact that you contribute this card set, um, sorry, if a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, except during a damage deck, you contribute this card, send that monster to the graveyard. Um, you're going to use the effect once per turn. So it kind of has multiple effects and usages. Again, just being a 0-0 zero, zero doesn't help you out massively. Next is Triple Beckoned by the World Chalice. This is your main vanilla. Uh, we play Triple Chosen by the World Chalice. This is your um, e Tele target. You can play Rhoda if you want to uh, deck thin your beckon, but you don't really need to nine times out of ten. Um, I'll show you a card that you can swap for it um, should you want to play Rhoda. Uh, and then we play Double Crowned by the World Chalice. This isn't the worst of the ones, but it's probably the less likely, which is why you don't play it at three, because it being a level two and be more defensive, but you might want to bump it to three to just have more World Chalice or Chalice card names in your hand to, for the special summon effects to go off. Uh, next we play Triple the Agent of Creation Venus and of course Triple Mystical Shine Ball. Uh, Agent of Creation Venus is your combo play. Just the cost of 500 life points, getting a Shine Ball out, using it to go into like your Umdark or going into your um, other monsters that you might need. It's just incredibly important and massively strong. Which is why Lee and um, Lee and Transmodifier is your two car combo or um, Agent of Creation Venus and... World Legacy is also a massive two-card combo. Next up, I play a couple of one-offs. Now, I play the one Rescue Rabbit. This can be taken out if you don't like it, but we play so many Vanillas that a Rescue Rabbit can be a top deck that would save you the game. 
I'm trialing out a Rescue Ferret. Now this is probably one of the very few decks at this moment in time that Rescue Ferret can be really useful in. Rescue Ferret shuffles itself back in so you don't need to play multiple copies as much. You don't want to play multiple copies to see it sooner. Um, and Rescue Ferret, um, you tr uh, shuffle this monster back into the deck. Then you special summon two monsters to a Link Monsters Zones that equal six or more. Uh, sorry. Duh. Let me read the full effect. This moment, sir. You can shuffle this card you control into the deck. Special summon monsters from your deck, um, except Rescue Ferret. So whose total levels equal six? You either get one level one out, and a level five, or you get one level six out. You know, just as long as it meets up to six. So in this deck, you've got obviously you can go a Mystical Shine Ball if you wanted to. You could go a Chosen by two Chosen by the World Chalice. You could go a Beckoned by the World Chalice and a Crown by the World Chalice. So it kind of has multiple effects, and you send them to a Link Monsters um, Link Zones. And they have their effects negated and destroyed during the end phase, but that doesn't matter because you're going to be using them for link material anyway. Uh, next up, we play the one Gem Knight Lazuli because we do play the Gem Knight engine in this. You've got your Lee as your target, and your Lazuli helps add you back to your normal monsters. Um, now, when I get to the Brain Fusion off speech, uh, I'll talk a bit more about it because I don't personally love it in this deck um, purely because the Seraphonite extra normal summon doesn't stack with. Um, Umduck, the World Chalices effect, and uh, again, I'll explain that when we get to it. Um, but it does give you more opportunity to kind of extend your plays and play bit uh, play further. If you do want to take the Gem Knight engine out because it is a bit more expensive, or if you want to play more budget, you've got your go-through option, or you can go more normal-based options. It's entirely up to you. Uh, and the last card is Exodius, the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. This is purely just for a tech tryout at the moment, um, because it shoves all your monsters back in. Uh, and then it gains a thousand attack for each normal monster in your graveyard. So not only will it help recycle um, your materials, it also gains off of having these in the graveyard. And then if you do want to get rid of him, so you special summon him out, get everything back from your graveyard back to your deck, get rid of him for a link monster, and then you can kind of push on for more. Um, so yeah, the options without, if you want to take out the Brilliant Fusion engine, which will be Lazuli, um, three Brilliant Fusions, and uh, Sharaphanite, is you can bump up an Exodius to two if you want. You can bump up uh, Rescue Ferrets if you want to as well. Or you put in Jar of Avarices so you focus more on your recycling ability. Um, if you want more abilities for normal summons or special summons, we all know that Gofu is a Link Spider Deco Talker or a um, Proxy Dragon, so you can take your three Brilliant Fusions out for Gofu uh, and then Lazuli out for another Crown by the World Chalice. Anyway. That's it for the monsters, now onto the spells. We play Triple Transmod, again this is part of your two card combo, so massively important. Triple Brilliant Fusion, now the other use that Brilliant Fusion serves is after you've used its effects and stuff like that, if you keep Ningrusu on the board, um, you can send. You just have to send one card from the field, so you get to send a dead Brilliant Fusion, uh, and then send one card your opponent controls, which you know is quite nice when you're getting a plus one off of that, in that sense. Uh, we play Double Swing of Memories, again, um, this helps combo off really nicely with Painful Decision because you get a monster in Grave and a monster in Hand that you need, so we play two of those as well. Two World Legacy Heart, again, this helps um, cycle back your Link monsters and maybe your normal monsters back to hand, uh, and then you can Banish It protect, um, protect your Linked monsters from battle. We finish off with the one e Telly and the one Soul Charge for recovery as well. Now, it is a 41 card deck, so like I said, um, a couple of little tech choices like Exodius and that you can take down to one um, if you want to kind of stick around the 40 card mark. No issues there. Now onto the Link Monsters. I play the one Link Spider. Now this can help you um, extend your plays. Let's say you open up with one vanilla in uh, two vanillas in hand. Um, if you don't go into Umdu uh, Imduct or anything like that, you can normal summon a, a Shine Ball, for example, and if you don't turn it into Imduct, you turn it into Link Spider. Link Spider special summons you out um, like another monster, a World Chalice or anything like that. Um, as long as it's a different attribute, you can go into Ib, um, and then obviously you can start extending your plays that way. But Link Spider also helps contribute to the Mutual Link, which has now officially been ruled as applicable in the TCG. Next up we play Triple Induct. This is your additional normal summon, um, and then it's your first step of your combo. One Uraman, uh, the World Chalice Bladesman. Again, massively important card. I like playing Double Ib. Now I will show you a nice little, um, not board lock, but a, uh, a healthy kind of board protection with Ib and Proxy Dragon, because if you play it right, Ib can be more important than Proxy Dragon. Uh, the one Ningrusu, the World Chalice Warrior, you can place it too if you want, but at one he is just enough. His effect to draw and then pitch um, is still very, very cool and very, very strong. So his draw effect and any send effect. 
Uh, double Prox Dragon, again, you can probably take this down to one if you want. Uh, next up, we play the one Topological Bomb Dragon. If you want to go more budget, you probably put this at two and not play the Firewalls. But because we're going full power here, I love Topological Bomber Dragon. I think it's such a cool card and really, really enjoy it. Uh, double Firewall. Again, it's a shame it's a big price, but until it gets reprinted, that's kind of how it is. And then, obviously, you've got your Shrafenite for your Brilliant Fusion, and then the Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow, um, as another Link Free, because sometimes you do actually need the Link Free, and the Pointers um, can actually be really, really important, uh, as 2600B isn't bad at all as well. Cool. So, that is it for the World Chalice Deck Profile. I hope this gives you an idea... Um, to kind of look into it a bit more and maybe build it yourself. Uh, it can be built a couple of different ways at the moment. Like I said, you've got the Recycle variant, you've got Gofu variant, and then you've got um, the Brilliant Fusion variant, and then kind of however text or uh, changes you want to add to it yourself. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, definitely check out the rest of the videos on the NCG um, YouTube channel. There are plenty out there. There's got duels. They've got, um, there's deck profiles, there's even discussions. So um, there's some really cool discussions like what, what's your favourite card, what's your most hated card, um, banished predictions and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time guys, see ya.